Ashley, what on earth are you doing? Well, I'm trying to learn more about the kingdom of heaven. You're going to learn about heaven by making a mustard sandwich? Well, I was reading in the Bible the other day about some parables that Jesus told where he said that the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed and yeast. Oh, and my mom said yeast was in buns. But I really didn't know exactly what that meant, so then I just decided that looking in the fridge would be the best thing to do. Where did you read this? What if we read it together and see what Jesus was really trying to say? That probably sounds like it'd be a good idea. I was a bit confused. Well, I read about the mustard seed in Matthew 13, verse 31 to 32. Okay, let's read. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds can come and perch in its branches. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I quite read that fully. See, I thought they meant mustard. But it sounds like Jesus was talking about the kingdom of heaven growing, even if it starts really small. Yeah, exactly. Mustard seeds are teeny tiny seeds, but God makes huge plants grow out, it, grow out of them. And these trees then become homes that are safe places for birds to live in. The kingdom of heaven starts off small, with very few people believing in Jesus. But now millions and millions of people all over the world believe in Jesus and have become citizens of the kingdom of heaven. That's really cool. That's really good to know. I was definitely confused. But what about the yeast, Kira? Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is also like yeast. That's right. So let's read. It's only one verse found in Matthew 13, verse 33. He told them still another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into 60 pounds of flour until it worked all through the dough. Whoa, so yeast, like my mom was telling me, gets put into dough when you're making like buns or bread or pizza or cinnamon buns. And that's like the stuff that makes the bread all soft and fluffy. Oh, but the thing is that you only need a little bit of yeast to make a lot of yummy bread. So then, would the yeast represent us as Christians also? That's exactly it. And the flour is the rest of the world. In this parable, we learn that even only a few Christians can make a difference in the world. It starts small, just like the mustard seed. Well, we're pretty small too. But God can use us in such big ways, just like he does with the mustard seed and the yeast. Yeah. So, this week, we want to encourage you to think about the small actions that you are doing. We can do things like praying before you eat a meal, even if no one else is. Or really trying to show kindness to the people around you, even if you don't feel like it. Telling other people stories about what God has done in your life and why you love him. Also, it could be a really cool thing. It may not feel like a big thing, but God can use your story to help people know Jesus better. That is a big thing. So how are you guys telling other people about Jesus? This week, try to choose one specific thing to do. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.